I'm PK along with Dr. Nathan Unruh for Sidecar. Today, Dr. Nathan Unruh wants to talk about four types of action. I think it's really prevalent all around us and just in our daily lives is this, this ability to take action. And this ability to take action is not necessarily it's an ability as much as it is a skill. And there's really four types. I got to give credit where credit is due because I, I got this from Grant Cardone. And the four types are do nothing, to retreat, to take average action, or take what he calls a massive action. What he calls is a 10 times action. And he wrote a book called The 10X Rule, which is just all about 10X everything you do. And in the, out of these four types of action, so I, you know, we'll ask the question of which one is the most dangerous? And it's really the third one is taking average action. Because average action, you actually think you're doing something, but in reality, you're not. The busy work and just kind of the machinery kind of thing where you're like, oh man, look at, I'm so... I'm so busy. I'm so I'm busy. so busy, busy being busy. Right. And really nothing's really changing. I you're not doing anything that. different. Mm-hmm. So I think I like to bring up the idea here of training. Training is something we do, not something we did. How are you going to constantly get better at what you do? Right now, we're experiencing the Masters Tournament. And do you think they hit one golf ball and then went and played the Masters? One class. They had one, yeah. They one, just, one hey, what's this? This is a seven iron. I'm going to go to Augusta. Wow. I mean, that ain't going to happen. And I think sometimes we think that that's what happens. And taking action is a skill set. And so looking at what's holding us back right now, what aren't we actually doing? There's a quote that I heard. It is not so much getting an education, it's keeping one, which is about taking action. How are you keeping the education? How are you fine-tuning things? How are you tightening the screws in order to continue to master each and every position in your office, position the customer fulfillment, master the financial accuracy component of your office, and also master your culture? All those things take action. So what steps on these four types of action are you taking? Are you taking massive action?